Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Cypher. Today, bringing you guys Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi Battle. Actually, live Wi-Fi Battle. Today, we're going to be bringing you guys live Wi-Fi Battle number 4 to the channel today. And today, we're going to be battling Eric, aka Eric is bad at the games. One of my very good friends I met on YouTube. Uh, we actually met back in the X and Y days. So, I'm really excited and nostalgic to battle him again. So, make sure you guys definitely head into the description below and go check out Eric's new channel. I'll leave both those links in the description below. So, I'll have his Twitter. Go give him a follow. Go show him some love. But while you guys are in the description, definitely go show me some love as well because well, I need a little love too, but today we're going to be battling Eric in a I guess a OU match because there's really no tears yet. Um, but today we're going to be using the Alolus Finest team. So if you guys are ready to enter that, then definitely hit that subscribe button, drop a like down below, and drop anything in the comment section below. It could be a mod suggestion, anything, and that's all you have to do to enter. There are brownie points on how to enter in the description below to, you know, kind of give yourself a little lead way in uh, entering that, you know, little giveaway i don't know i'm ready for this i'm a little tired i just got out of the shower um and it's a little late but i gotta get this out for you guys so um yeah i don't know so either way i'm gonna go, go ahead and show you guys the team so today <coughs> sorry i'm getting a little sick but today we're rocking out with Incineroar, aka Toothless. We're rocking out with Pikuhana, the nice, powerful Alolan Raichu. We're rocking out with Wishy Washy, aka Squadron. We are rocking out with the Delmise, aka. I forgot that thing's name. What did I name that thing? What I name that thing? I forgot. Either way, next we do have Kamo, aka Slayweather, and then last, um, well then we have Mudsdale, aka a nice powerful high because he's you know he's on a really high horse. And then you know what? I need to figure out his name. What did I name this guy? What did I name him? Lady, lady, lead. That's what I named off of SpongeBob. So that's gonna be the squad that we're bringing against Eric. I'm pretty excited to be honest. Uh, let me again, like I said, definitely show that love in the comment section below, as well as on that thumbs up button because the YouTube algorithm is asking for likes. So I'm gonna ask you guys for likes, and that's gonna be the new saying. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch up the music real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that. And uh, yeah, so. Good luck to Eric. You know, to, again, like I said, go show him some love. Go ahead and make sure you guys enter the Alolan or Alola's Finest giveaway. That'd be kind of dope. And uh, today's question of the day is going to be, um, what was your favorite part of Sun and Moon Story? Let's play. Let's go ahead and uh, dive into that. You guys let me know in the comment section below as I'm doing this. So, <coughs> he has a very powerful team. I keep coughing. I'm really sorry. But today, and I know I'm taking pictures right now. I know you have them on your screen, but you know what? I just feel better with pictures. So today he has a Espeon, a Salamence, a Tentacruel, a Clefable, a Zerkatree, and a Scizor. So, um, pretty decent lead with ground typing being the Tentacruel and the Zerkatree. Um, let's see, is there anything else really? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Well, I feel like a good lead. For us could be a right our Raichu since Raichu does do a lot of damage um, as well as our Incineroar could actually do a lot of damage as well. Um, Wishy Washy I feel like is going to come in pretty clutch in this match. Zerkatree hopefully doesn't have anything to touch us with so I'm going to go ahead and lead off. Um, I'm going to lead off with Pikuhana just because he's I don't he's a pretty fast Volt Switcher and actually that'll give us a little initiative. We're going to have to play around that uh, Zerka tree, definitely. I hate the Ultra Beast so much, but they're a part of Pokemon now, so they're there. Drinking a little 7-Up, guys, because my, uh, like I said, I'm not feeling so hot. But let me know in the comments section below how you guys are doing today. How's your day going? Mine's going pretty fantastic. Got out of a pretty long day of work, but hopefully a little battling can uh, do us some justice. So he's going to lead off with Salamence. Going to lead off with Salamence. Do I still have Thunder on this guy? I have Thunderbolt. I kind of do want to Volt Switch though, but what do I want to Volt Switch into is the question. Um, on this thing, there's not much I can really Volt Switch into. I mean, I could Volt Switch into my High Horse, but I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and Volt Switch. Might as well. Uh, if he's going to Dragon Dance, that's going to be a pretty rough time. As that is going to bring him to half, which is actually pretty good. It's actually not bad. Um, what do I want to go into now? I kind of want to go into my High Horse, but if I get rid of High Horse, then that means the Zerka Tree is going to be running a little wild. Um, I feel like my... Hmm... 
I feel like my... I'm, actually, I'm not really too sure. I kind of want to go on the squadron. Because squadron's not really doing the most this match. You know what? I'm actually going to go into my wishy-washy. Might as well. He's going to be in the school form, so that means we're going to be able to, you know, get big, and he's nice and shiny. Nice and a little shiny. He's got to have a chance to win the shiny wishy-washy in school form. We got Squadron on the field. He's going to go ahead and Dragon Dance. That is very scary, actually. Very scary. All right. Well, the good thing is he can't take us out from this range, so I'm just going to go ahead and Ice Beam. Um, he's going to Dragon Claw, so I don't think this will take us out. Um... It doesn't take us out. It does put us in our uh, Citrus Berry, which is fine. And uh, we can actually get a big Ice Beam off. So this should... This actually, I don't even know why I say it should. This is definitely going to take out the Salamence here. Um, but this does give a chance for him to uh, go into his Zerka Tree, which I have to play on my toes about because I do not want to get that thing a Beast Boost. Because if that thing gets a Beast Boost, we are so in a bad position. Um... You know what, actually, I'm surprised that Dragon Claw did that much damage. I mean, my, my defense is actually really well on this thing. It has a base 130 defense, too. Eyes down here. He's going to go into the Tentacruel. Kind of curious who wants to, want to do the Tentacruel, because I have Earthquake. I'm going to go ahead and just Earthquake. I don't see why not. He's going to Toxic us. Very good play, Eric. Very good play. Um, this Earthquake should actually be doing a decent chunk of damage, to be honest. And I don't think this is actually going to uh, bring us below half. Oh, that almost one-shots the freaking Tentacruel. Not even bad. Not even bad. As it does keep us above half, which is awesome. Perfect. So now that means we can actually get off a, um... I kind of want to go for another Scald, but I kind of just want to just Earthquake again. Yeah, he doesn't really have anything to take up much of an Earthquake, so I'm just going to do it again. Ah, he's going to Protect. Not bad. Not even bad. And is that going to put us below... Is that going to put us actually below the schooling... Or the schooling? Oh, I hope it doesn't. That is. It's going to put us under? Oh, but we still we still stay in the form. I wonder how what it is. If the user wish to watch change the school form, it has one fourth max PHP else solo form. Oh, okay, okay. So if it has a quarter of health left, okay. Not bad, not bad. So either way, I'm pretty good here to go for another earthquake, actually. Um, as he is going to withdraw eyes down. He's probably going to go into Scizor here. Scally Folly, which is going to be the Clefable. Not even bad. That's going to do a decent chunk of damage, actually, which is actually pretty good. I'm not going to complain. It's, no, it's definitely nothing to, uh, you know, get excited about. All right, now. Now that should... That's going to be a quarter of health right there. Um, unfortunately, we do not outspeed that thing. We definitely do not outspeed that thing. So, since I don't have anything to do with it, I'm just going to Skull Burn. I think he's probably going to take us out. He is going to call Mind here. If we can burn this thing here, if he's not Magic Guard, hopefully, then we're going to be in a pretty bad position. We're going to Scald here. What does this do to us? Hopefully we get a burn. Snagged. Not even bad. Please be unaware, though. We're going to find out if he's Magic Guard or unaware here right now. He is going to be. He is definitely the Magic Guard variant. Definitely the Magic Guard variant. So, our play here, our play here is to go. I want to say our play here is to go into Ladley, but I don't want to go into Ladley and then. Hmm. I'm a Salt Vessel with Ladley. I'm just gonna do it. And I'm just gonna go for the Gyro Ball. I should. Do a decent chunk of damage. I am going to be... I'm 20 points slower in base stat. And plus, I'm at negative speed right now. So, this should actually do a decent chunk. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and Gyro Ball. Mine as well. He's going to T-Wave. That's fine. I'm not really too worried about it. I'm super slow as it is. And actually, I think you just helped me out, actually, to be honest. I think you just helped me out. 
You just helped me out. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for paralyzing me. Actually, I don't even really know if that really helped or not. I'm not positive. I'm really not actually positive to be honest. But either way, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good move. This team I like a little better than the other one because I think I was focusing solely too much on uh, a lot of variants of, I guess, just using Sora. Like Tapu Fini, I was focusing a lot on as well as the uh, Decidueye. But I think I was focusing or focusing too much on them. So we have a Scizor here. Um. Huh. Hmm. What can I do against this guy? Well, there's not much he can do with his Espeon, so I kind of—I think I kind of want to keep that thing alive for Espeon. So, although he could, this is probably gonna be Mega Scizor. Hmm. I kind of want to switch straight into my Toothless. Hmm. Or maybe high, maybe horsepower, or a high horse, whatever. Now I'm just gonna switch into my Incineroar. I'm gonna just switch right into him. There's no point in not. That way he doesn't get a sword stance up. And then we could actually scare him out. He is gonna be the Mega Scizor here. I don't know if he's gonna go for a Bullet Punch. I think he's actually just gonna go either for a Bug Bite or maybe even maybe even a Brutal Swing. He's going to X Scissor here. That's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, actually, hmm, doesn't do as much as I thought. Um, either way, we're actually pretty good here to fake out, definitely. Um, or we could just straight up Flare Blitz. One of the two, doesn't matter. What do we do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and Flare Blitz. If he stays in. Um, he's probably going to switch out into... What does he actually have to switch into a Flare Blitz? He doesn't have much to switch into a Flare Blitz, actually. He does not have much to switch in. He might as well stay in. Might as well. Stall, saw that. Stall, saw that. Stall, saw that. I don't know what that means. I'm going to lower the mic away. I feel like the mic is like really close to my face. Maybe. I don't know. You guys let me know. Even though this battle will be up for you guys, you guys can't tell me shit. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this team. I, I didn't solely rely on rocks this much this match because my team wasn't too really that much weak to rocks um, besides Incineroar. Eric, make that play. He ain't gonna make the play. Hopefully he stays in, but nothing on, nothing on, this, on his side wants to actually take a... Nothing on his team really wants to take a Flare Blitz, actually. Hopefully he switches into Zerkatry. If he switches into Zerkatry, that's GG. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm I'm used to my PX21s where I can like mute the sound. That way I can just cough and then turn it back on. But these ones I can't really do that. I mean I could with like OBS, but do I wanna do that? No, I really don't. He's gonna X Scissor here. I don't think this will take us out. Oh my gosh, the crit, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me, the crit? You've got to be absolutely kidding me. I cannot believe he just got a crit on that. I'm going to high, or I'm going to earthquake here. Just going to earthquake here. I'm pretty special defensive, but the thing is I do have the stamina as he's going to swords dance here. Oh. Not good. Not good, mate. Not good. That's actually going to do a decent amount of damage, to be honest. Um, I'm curious to see if Rock Slide will do more. No, I'm just going to go ahead and Earthquake again. As he's going to Roost here. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, ugh, gosh, we need to get a crew. We need to return a crew. We have not won one single Wi-Fi battle on Sun and Moon yet. And it's just it's irking my nerve, man. Where's my crit? Huh? Do I get a crit? No, I just get low rolls. He gets crits, I get low rolls. I gotta keep going for the Earthquake here, unfortunately. I need to save Mudsdale, though. I definitely need to save Mudsdale. Hopefully he goes for another Roost. He's gonna Swords Dance again. Um, 
I hope it doesn't have anything to really hit me with. I really hope he doesn't have anything to hit me with. Crit? No. Nope, buddy, nope. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go for another Earthquake. He's probably going to just... He's going to roost here, actually. So, um, I'm not sure of where he's trying to go with this one. Hmm. I don't really know where it Oh, that put him in perfect damage range. Earthquake. He's going to... Yeah, he's going to roost. He's, he's roost on me, definitely. He's roost on me. Mm, he's roost on me. Definitely going to roost on me. Oh, I don't want to let... I really don't want to let my... I don't want to let my Mudsdale die. You know what? I'm sacking off lately. I'm sacking him off. Because then I can just bring in my Kamo- Oh, and I can actually just Flamethrower. He's gonna store his answer. That's fine. I actually resist the steel typing so even if he wants to go for a bullet punch that's fine um, I'm just gonna shadow call you he's gonna hit me he's definitely gonna hit me he's definitely gonna hit me he's gonna X scissor I don't know if this will kill probably will definitely kills all right and now here's the question Here's the question, if a bullet punch takes us out, I resist it, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I resist it. Even at plus six, I'm just gonna go ahead and flamethrower, I don't know if a bullet punch will take us out. He's gonna bullet punch, does that take us out? I can just never catch a break. I can just never catch a break, man. I might have to just start building teams with like UBs and Megas because I can never catch a break. I can never catch a break. He's gonna X scissor here. I don't know if that'll take us out. Yeah, why would that not take us out? Oh my gosh, I hate this. That crit X scissor, I think, mattered the most, though, on that on my um, Incineroar. I think that crit definitely mattered. Either way, GG, Eric. That was definitely a great game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's match, then definitely hit that thumbs up for me. And uh, we need some luck. We need some luck on our side, because we have lost four straight Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles. And the thing is, and I'm not going to sit there and be the guy to post a Wi-Fi battle. If I got to take an L as my upload, I will take an L. It's whatever. Either way, this team is not bad by any means. It's just like that crit actually played a big part in me losing that, to be honest, because like I said, I, I would have either went for the Flare Blitz. I would have went for the Flare Blitz if I could. And then, you know, if anything, I could have just brought in Kamo'o and obviously just Flamethrower. So I should have made that switch on the Roost. I guess I didn't. I mean, I probably could have taken a bullet. I probably could have taken two bullet punches at plus two could have but again like i said who wants to switch on a plus two mega scissor nobody does either way that was a great game to eric definitely show him some love in the comment section below i think he's getting back into some youtube so hopefully you know he does get back on that grind you guys should go check him out like i said if you guys want to enter alola's finest then definitely hit that thumbs up for me and definitely hit that subscribe button and comment anything in the comment section below um mainly you know how how you're doing today ask me how i'm doing maybe a little suggest a mod suggest a mod because actually what i want to do is i want to get six mods that you guys suggest from every video and i want to bring it into a team 
Uh, so like I said, if you guys have any mod suggestions, definitely leave them in the comment section below. Or, I don't know, just do anything in the comment section below. But like I said, I'm going to get up out of here. So again, if you guys enjoyed, hit that thumbs up for me. Go into the description below. Check out my boy Eric. Check out my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram links. All those links are in the description below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So please have yourselves a great morning, and evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. What is Crack Cousin? We'll see you.